So ETH on the daily time frame, we saw the clear bull break. We'll highlight the trade, trade that we made yesterday uh, for a bit of a swing position overnight. But we made the bull break, big upper wick of profit taking, and now we're consolidating. This is the daily time frame. And we are seeing correlation with this Bitcoin weakness. So if, if Bitcoin does break 3,800 and break down, we will see weakness in these other names, LTC and ETH, which are correlating with it right now. So definitely need to be aware of that. I'm all cashing on the sidelines right now, just patiently waiting. But if we form a higher low here, anything above 287 is a higher low on the daily time frame for ETH. So we should certainly anticipate that to happen. We were on the verge of a bullish MACD cross on the daily time frame, but this consolidation that we're seeing is currently preventing that. So the bulls just have to form a higher low, and then we will see that follow through. But as of right now, we're still in consolidation mode. The four-hour time frame sees that huge bull volume and big bull spike and then an inside bar, and then a bear break of that inside bar. And we're not done consolidating yet at this point after that significant bull move. So what we were looking at for the entry overnight, and it occurred, I was making my entry during the video, highlighted yesterday, and look how tight we got. So I made my bull entry and said, okay, I will stop out at under 392 if we get a, a break of the higher low pattern. And if we get a bull break, I'm going to be in a good position. So woke up this morning to wonderful gains. Exited initially at 321 just because... I had to hit the road very early in the morning and couldn't be watching first thing. And uh, then I made, was settled in and was able to make a re-entry. So sold it in the 321s, made a re-entry. Once this consolidation pattern broke, you can see just higher lows, lower highs, getting very tight. Bull break, re-entered at 323, exited again at 328, and met, left a lot on the table. So a lot of people who maybe are not used to trading or don't have their emotions under control yet would say, oh man, if I had just held longer, I could have had you know, 10 more dollars of upside and this many more dollars and why did I sell? I don't feel that in any way, shape or form because I look at the hourly time frame and say, okay, the hourly RSI hit 90. This was the highest hourly RSI that we have seen since the all time high. So there's no chance I'm going to hold out anticipating or hoping, oh, I hope we, I hope we get in the most overbought conditions that we've seen since the all time high so I can make more money to the upside. That's really just greedy to me. If you're holding long, that's one thing and looking for, you know, swing trades for multiple weeks. But with this kind of move, when you see, you know, that ended up giving me at that point, it was about $28 of profit in an overnight swing trade. I'm going to lock that in every time because that takes the account, you know, 7% to the upside overnight. And that right there, that trade alone makes my week. I could not trade for the rest of the week and the week is made. So I'm going to lock that in every time. And we did end up going to a significant further move to the upside. So I, you know, if I made the perfect trade, I left about $15 on the table, which is a, a nice chunk of change. But again, I'm not going to hold out for hoping an anomaly from the normal pattern that we've been seeing over the past couple months takes place. So now we're consolidating have not found a low of consolidation yet. The low of this point is in the 315s, but no bullish reversal candlestick, lower highs and lower lows. We saw the verge of a bull break. Look at this bull volume. This was the bull signal right here, and it was a fake out, and it was the correlation with Bitcoin that ruined this breakout. So we had a clear break of the lower high pattern on the 15 minute time frame. As soon as we break 324, that's a signal for an entry because that breaks the lower highs. We did make it all the way up to 330, so a nice $6 gain. But then this is when the Bitcoin dump started. And you can see the increasing bear volume here on Ethereum. So the correlation really dragged down the failed break attempt. And if you did make that bull entry on 324, ideally you would have had a stop loss at break even or worst case scenario, just a small loss and really just unable to find a support level at this point as Bitcoin is now consolidating again. Looks like our lower high is set on Bitcoin at 3907. So watching for that potential dump and we will anticipate Ethereum to dump down as well, perhaps even as low as back down towards the low $300 range if that Bitcoin dump does follow through. Litecoin today made another bullish entry and had some really nice gains. It was the same scenario where I knew I had to be leaving. I knew we were very, very tight. And let's look at it on the 15 minute time frame where we had a, a ascending triangle pattern where we had a higher low and a clear horizontal resistance. We've been watching this $47 resistance for a couple days at this point. And so we were getting very tight and I made a bull entry here in the upper $46 range. I had to leave. I set my stop loss just below this low here of 46.33 and was not stopped out. Saw a big move to the upside. Unfortunately, by the time I got back to my computer, consolidation had already taken place. And then again, 
just like Ethereum, that correlation to Bitcoin saw a complete reversal in terms of losing all of those gains. So I exited for a small profit and certainly not as significant as if I were at the computer watching. And Litecoin is certainly notorious at this point for these bull breakouts being very short lived. They last a couple of hours and then we do consolidate. But when they do take place, they are very rapidly, very fast and very rapid to the upside, very powerful short term moves that don't really last too very long. So if I were at the computer, I would have absolutely locked in my profit in the $48 range and had another really solid gain and it would have been on my way to an awesome week, which still is possible, but it was just uh, bad timing and life got in the way, eclipse and such. So I'm not sweating it, was able to get a small profit. And at this point right now with a big setback, because of the correlation to Bitcoin, the bulls are trying to recover. The hourly time frame, we see a bullish reversal candlestick trying to be confirmed. Still higher lows in the daily chart. Still looks good in the sense that we got the bull break. We see the bullish MACD cross following through. And bulls have to just keep forming these higher lows and heading their way to $50 resistance. So on the four-hour time frame, anything above 4490 will be a higher low. The bulls have plenty of wiggle room. It's certainly a solid chart for the bulls on the daily and just watching to see if we can continue forming healthy consolidation on the way up. And that break of $50, if and when that does come, we will be looking for an all-time high test on Litecoin in the very near-term future if that does play out. BCH here, getting ready for a bull entry almost. We got support here of 558 and then 565. So a higher low by $7, we have to break this lower high pattern. So we need to see a break of 661 to see our double bottom and then a break of the lower highs to indicate the bulls are ready to show back up. This is the four hour time frame. And after all of this bull breakout, we see not a ton of bear volume and we are looking for the MACD to begin curling around. We are looking for an entry to occur in the near term future. We will be looking for a higher low to form, a bullish entry opportunity, and then a lower high to form as we form a four hour equilibrium pattern. So the daily time frame, we can see the multiple days of consolidation. Look at the volume, bull volume compared to bear volume, which is what would have me scouting for a bullish entry opportunity. And we can look on the shorter term time frames, the hourly, trying to hold this double low. And I personally would be waiting Either, either making a, a bottom fishing entry where you enter and exit if 558 were to break, or you wait for the bulls to break the lower high pattern and to have that bull momentum at your back. Personally, I'm not going to be trading BCH. I'm going to be waiting for a Bitcoin oversold bounce tonight. Otherwise, I'll reassess everything in the morning. So again, those key resistances short term is 619 and 661. And support is 558. And if we lose 558 support, the next level that I would be looking at is really down at 542 and then 500 psychological. NEO is getting very, very tight on the four hour time frame. You can see we do have a couple higher lows, but clear lower highs as well. Resistance right now is 925, followed by 99, essentially 0 .00, 0 0.01. So 925, 0 0.001, followed by 0 0.0103. Those are the three lower highs to be watching. The four hour time frame, very tight. A bear break would occur if we lose 8 4 support, and that would have me wanting to be out of a bounce attempt opportunity. Not an entirely strong daily time frame at this point. We were close to a bull break, didn't really get a lot of follow through. Again, that 42, actually, let's see what that level was. Thinking of a different chart, the level that the bulls needed to break, which they didn't, was 103. So that's the level that we have to break to show significant turnaround of consolidation being done and the bulls ready to show back up and closing in on a break of this very tight range and you can see the volume is dropping off as well so where we stand heading into tomorrow again just looking at the short terms and i'll update the longer terms uh, and swing trading levels tomorrow but looking at bitcoin for a potential dump and a break of 3800 and an entry opportunity potentially even $100 below that. We'll have to see how many stop losses get triggered and things like that. But I do believe that once those stop losses do trigger, getting a bullish entry opportunity at the bottom there will be a nice quick oversold bounce for just a couple hours looking to hold. And with the bears taking over today with Bitcoin, I will only be looking for short-term flips of Bitcoin and then potentially looking back at the other names to see if they have some good setups. So that's what we've got heading into tomorrow. And... Everything on Ethereum and Litecoin is looking fine on the daily time frame. It's just bad timing in terms of the correlation picking back up and the consolidation that is occurring from both of their breakouts, Ethereum last night and Litecoin today. 
it's it's giving back a lot of those gains because of this correlation. But again, the, the other side of the coin there is the fact that we did see this run up and these bull breaks before the bear break of Bitcoin and this consolidation gives the bulls a lot more wiggle room where we can pull back significantly, but still maintain higher lows and keep the overall uptrend in favor of the bulls. So we'll see if BCH gets this bull move here at the key level of support. There's really a lot to be watching tonight. And in order to not get overwhelmed, I would only pick one or two things and wait for that setup to make your trade opportunity. So I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in and have a great night.